Alright, welcome to the second video. In this video, we're going to use something called time remapping to smooth out the animation, and it is really boring and tedious, and you're going to hate it, but stick with me. Hopefully, the next few tutorials will be more exciting. But this is a really important step to make things look nice and smooth. So, in our last video, we imported all the images into a composition, then we pre composed that and time reversed it since I shot the images in backwards order. So, now we have this. What we're going to do in this tutorial is time remap it to make the animation itself more smooth. So, unless you're a perfect animator, you know, you might move things, you might move a car, and when you play it back, it moves too slow. And then, you know, in an animation like this, with a lot of different movements, and especially with a figure like this, where they have ratchet joints and ball joints and all these different kinds of joints that's hard to animate, you'll probably not have perfect movement, and you want some things to move faster, some things to move slower. So that's what time remapping will do for us. So, you know, if you compare this video, or if you compare what you just saw to this right here, you'll notice that this is a lot smoother. Um, the movement is kind of dynamic. A lot of people ask what the frame rate of a stop motion is. You know, they're expecting an answer like 15 or 24 frames per second or 30. But really, my frame rate usually varies throughout the video. So in some moments of the video, each, fr each picture is lasting a frame. Whereas in other moments of the video, each picture is lasting up to, you know, three or four frames. Really, you only need 15 frames per second to make it look smooth. Of course, the higher you go, the more smooth it will look. But you'll still get that illusion of motion at 15 frames per second, I think. So let's get started on time remapping this. We have our time reverse composition here. Oh, and by the way, save this if you haven't already, so you don't lose your work. It's happened to me lots of times. But we have our time reverse composition here, which is what I'm looking at. Now, to make this clean, I'm just going to pre-compose every time I do something drastically different. But you don't really have to pre-compose that much, but I'm going to just to keep things simple. So I'll rename this to Time Remapping. And click on your layer in here inside your composition. Right-click, go to Time, Enable Time Remapping. So what that's going to allow us to do is drop some keyframes for time. So what's a keyframe? It's something used to set a value for a parameter at a specific point in time. In this case, we're setting when a frame will appear. So for example, if I take this frame right here and drop a keyframe by pressing this little diamond, and then I drag that keyframe to the two second mark of the video, what I just said is I want that frame to appear two seconds into the video instead of wherever it was. So now if I play this back, we'll see that it plays a lot faster. So check this out. And the reason why it plays faster is because it's got to play it faster to make that frame appear there. And you'll notice that everything after it is moving a little bit slower. And that's because if we want this frame to happen two seconds in, but we still want this frame here to happen at the end of the video, everything's going to move slow in between. So that's the basis for time remapping. I'm going to undo that by pressing Control z so what we're going to want to do is just drop a bunch of keyframes in important places and move them around until it looks good. So this is kind of a lengthy process, and there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's up to your personal preference. Um, I'll show you what I'll do for this animation, just so you can get a hang of it. But really, it's something you just got to practice. So to begin, I'll drop a keyframe here at the end of when the car moves. I'll drop another keyframe at the end of his transformation right here. Um, right here we have like a lot of images and there's not a lot of movement so I'll drop another keyframe right here. So what I mean is right here the whole car moves up or he stands up in this part of the video but right here less happens if you know what I mean. So what I'll do Whenever I move this, you've got to move all the keyframes after it as well. So I'll move this one a little bit closer to this keyframe. So now I've only affected this much of the video. So I'll go ahead and preview that and see what it looks like. So that right there looks pretty good. It kept the timing feels more consistent than it did before. And since we have a lot of images right here, we can speed it up and things won't look like they're moving too fast and they'll look really smooth. So that's the gist of it. I also want the car to move faster, so this is the keyframe I set at the end of the driving part. So I'll move every keyframe 
after it, closer to the beginning. Preview that to see how fast it is. Check it out. It's still a little slow, so I'll move everything over just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. So now you've got the gist of it, and I'm going to do that throughout the rest of the video too, especially parts like this, whenever he extends his arm and then puts his arms down. You can see that his moves arm, arms move down way too slow. So I'll just put a keyframe right when he starts moving his arms down, and I'll put a keyframe to where after he's done moving his arms down, and then make those keyframes really close together. Play that back. That's starting to look better already. I think I put this keyframe a little too late. So I'll go right before it and drop another keyframe. Then go to this keyframe and delete it. And then drag these together again. Just a little bit. Play it back. That looks pretty cool. So now you get the gist of it. I'm not going to bore you and make you sit through this entire time remapping thing. Because it will take a while to perfect... Um, I'm pretty picky myself. But yeah, that's the gist of time remapping.